As soon as you get less attached to the dramas, you will not feel so caught up and victimized by them. You will understand that this is a collective of energy you are dealing with. So collectively, if you can come to the realization inside yourselves, you can broadcast a new vibration for women and men to harmonize with. All of this is now coming to a point of stabilization or equalization. The female began to open her throat about 30 years ago making the opportunity to speak fashionable. The problem is that many females ended up shutting down their feeling centers as they opened their speech centers. They began to become very much like males. A balance is needed. Now the female is finding the need to awaken the feminine principle inside herself. She is in a female body and has mastered the use of the male vibration within herself. She has gone out into the world and she feels powerful. She can walk the streets without a veil on her face and she can decide whether she wants to be married. She is her own property. She is responsible in this country for her own decisions. She is beginning to soften and to awaken the portion of herself that nurtures her and brings her life. As she makes herself whole with her male and female portions and allows herself to experience the evolved DNA, she broadcasts this frequency. This frequency will become very prevalent upon the planet. It is inevitable that men will open their feeling centers that is the next step men must go through to establish a balance with the female. This will happen very quickly for men. It will not be a 30 year process because men at this time are moving as a populace into confusion. Men are realizing that they don't like what is occurring and they are questioning authority. You do not have a pantheon of powerful female creator images. You have nothing on which to pattern a positive image of the empowered feminine. So men are striving to be male and women are striving to be empowered through a male vibration because you do not have a clear vision of the empowered female. You must create it. Begin to recognize the wealth of energy in the female version of self, which is intuition, receptivity, creativity, compassion, and nourishment. You are discovering that there is a wealth of identity in an essence that has been discredited for a long time. If you are female, of course, you are a living form of that essence. Men must in themselves where the goddess meets the god in them. By the same token, the view of the masculine is distorted. You do not have an example of an empowered feeling male. Society has deemed feeling male soft and lacking in masculinity. Men are beginning to look at their emotions and say, hey, I feel this, and know that they are still men. So men and women are both creating role models for empowered, integrated versions of masculine and feminine. These models are coming, and they are coming quickly. The time for separation is finished. As all of you are on the path of integrating the polarities within yourselves, difficult issues are going to come up over and over again. Welcome the difficult times, for they can be your greatest teacher. Stay focused on your own growth, your own path, and your own self, and not on what others are doing. Call on your own internal masculine and feminine and set up a dialogue between them so that they can begin to work in partnership and harmony. Give yourself a lot of love and encouragement. Make an appointment with yourself and say, I love you self. You are a wonderful self. You are a number one, the best self. You are here to master a very difficult task 
in a system that is dark and gives very little input, stimulation, or information about the true story. You are here to do the impossible. By committing to love yourself and making this commitment the number one step from which you operate every day, everything falls into place. You become whole and complete. Then, you are ready for a bonded relationship with another who is complete, and that relationship can take you into unexplored realms. When the library of yourselves was torn from the shelves and scattered, and the DNA was split so that there were only two strands left with very little data and very little memory, sexuality was left intact in the physical body. It was left as a form of reproduction, of course, as a form for the species to stay in touch with its own essence and bring itself into life. Very deep inside the mechanism of sexuality is a frequency that can be attained that has been sought after and misunderstood by many people. It is called orgasm. Sexuality connects you with a frequency of ecstasy, which connects you back to your divine source and to information. The discovery of the highest frequency of sexuality arises from the love experience. It has nothing to do with relationships being either homosexual or heterosexual. It has to do with two human beings bringing pleasure to one another in a way that opens frequencies of consciousness. Love is the essence that is to be created in all relationships. If you love and honor someone, it doesn't matter what your composition of density is. What matters is the love vibration and how you explore this love which ideally is gifted and coupled with the integration of the male and female counterparts that make the twin flame. Ideally, sexuality is explored through feelings. The third and fourth chakras connect you to the emotional and compassionate selves, which connect you to the spiritual self. The spiritual self is the part of yourself that is multidimensional through which you exist in many forms simultaneously. It is your assignment and agreement and task to be aware of all of these realities in the identity that you are. When you are aware, you can tune into the different frequencies, remember who you are, and change the vibratory rate of this universe. Before DNA was rearranged, the way many people reached the higher realms and were able to climb the ladders of themselves and reach into off-planet frequencies was by electromagnetically bonding through love. They created a rocket ship-like experience to propel them out into other systems of reality. This has been one of the best kept secrets upon the planet. You were left with the frequency of the orgasmic experience in sexuality so that you could remember your higher identity. When this energy or history of yourself is revealed and you discover who you are, you will unite many bodies of your personal multidimensional identity and your physical form. To receive the full impact of the grid work of your identity, let the 12 helixes fit in your body and allow the light encoded filaments to rearrange themselves. Sexuality can be very confusing at this time because you are raising and studying your frequencies. When you join bodies, even when you hug one another, you exchange frequency. When you are having a sexual experience, there is a hormonal release inside the body. The hormones awaken certain energies inside the cells and there is a transference of one person's essence into the other person. That is why when you have had sexual experiences with someone, you sometimes cannot get their energy off you. Even though you don't want to be with the person, the sexual experience stays with you because you have had an electromagnetic exchange. If expressing yourself sexually encouraged your greatest growth, 
you would automatically create that experience for yourself because you would be ready for it. Understand that during the process of evolving the self, very often a period of dormancy in sexual activity occurs. Within the sexual frequency, you exchange with one another. So, if you are bonding yourself and chemically exchanging with a person who is not of your likeness, you are taking on their garbage because you are exchanging energy quite intimately. The population must clear the negative connotations and judgments that have colored your sexual experience for eons. You must make peace with sex in order to integrate the frequencies and identity. Things have been manipulated and given a boundary of limitation so that the truth of sexuality has been kept from you. You have been told that you can procreate with it and have orgasms, but you have not been told that you can open frequencies with it. You can come into contact and use it as a method of remembering who you are and altering the vibrational frequency of your body. In the next few years, your expression of sexuality will have a whole new dimension. You will evolve and grow, provided that you have a partner who is willing to take the same route and be that open. From our point of view, you all have knowledge and you just need to activate the memory that is stored inside your being. We've noticed that some of you from your location of experience are out there moaning and groaning saying, we need help and assistance now and again. So let us suggest to you an avenue that you can definitely walk down, a formula that works. The formula is quite simple. It is for you in the moment and every day to consistently set out with clarity what you wish to experience. Perhaps what you want falls into a category of impossibility according to someone else's boundary or someone else's limitation. With a sense of deserving and graciousness, discover inside yourself what will bring you happiness, what makes you feel light and connected and alive. What do you desire that will bring peace on the planet as you occupy your own being? Whatever those things are, begin to want them. Call them to yourself by saying, It is my intention that I experience a harmonious lifestyle. It is my intention to experience health and energy that lead me to creative adventures. It is my intention that I be well provided for, that shelter and food and all of the things I need to experience life be given to me in great abundance and that I pass this great abundance on and share it with others. These are not ideas you have been trained to think of. Two or three times a day, devote a small portion of your time to getting clear about what you want. Every day, Open the energy centers in your body and above your body by calling the frequency of light. We call this the pillar of light. Picture a beam of light coming into your 12 chakra centers, seven inside your body and five outside your body. These chakras are information centers or vortexes that once activated begin to spin. When they spin, they create a movement inside your body that activates the light encoded filaments to work together, rebundle, and form the 12 evolving helixes in the body. It is very important for everyone who wishes to be in complete balance with their physical being to practice on a regular basis some kind of deep breathing program. This is a program in which breath is very important and oxygenation is practiced so that oxygen is brought into the body. Another activity we recommend for those of you who wish to move into a vast acceleration of energy is spinning. Move from left to right, spinning round and focusing your vision on your thumb, counting and spinning. 
we recommend that you spin 33 times at least once a day. You may build up to 33 spins very slowly. If you are able to work up to 33 spins three times a day so that you are spinning 99 times, well, we will see how long you will stay on the planet or at least in this dimension. When you complete spinning, however many times you spin, bring your palms together at chest level. Press them together, keeping your eyes open, and balance yourself with your feet at shoulders width apart so that you can feel anchored and still feel the spinning at the same time. This tremendously accelerates the spinning of the chakra systems inside your body, which tremendously accelerates the rate at which you can interpret and receive data. As you are electronic beings who are altering your frequency at a very fast rate, we would recommend that you drink a tremendous amount of water, fresh water, purified water or spring water. Water acts as a conduit or conductor. It keeps your system open and flowing. There are many other things you can do Learn to have altered state experiences and not feel out of control. Cultivate them and go into them to gather information, change probabilities, move on to the corridor of time and alter your own life. Then come out of them with complete and total use of your will with respect to how you use these altered states. When you learn to do this, the acceleration will be absolutely phenomenal. When there are many consciousnesses on the planet registering that kind of ability, the whole network that organizes and monitors human consciousness alters itself. More energy is able to come onto the planet because there are those who can accommodate it. Everyone can learn to accommodate and honor this energy because it must be housed. It is like an oil well. What good do oil wells do if they are untapped and shooting off here, there, and everywhere? Very little, they just create a mess. However, when you take energy gifts from Earth, such as oil wells, or sources of natural gas, or waterfalls, and you combine them with your will, you put together a purpose or a way of directing the energy. Then, a wealth occurs for those of you who direct these natural resources. The most essential aspect of this entire process of directing and housing energies is to value Earth and her experience first and foremost. You are being given an incredible natural resource at this time and you must tap it and direct it. Then you will all become very wealthy individuals in the realms of accessibility and mastery. Many of you want to reach the higher realms and stay there, forgetting that your task is here on Earth. You must learn to stay grounded. The necessity of being grounded is something many of you do not understand. You will soon find out that if you move into greater and greater acceleration, you do not have grounds, things to connect you and pull the world into one. You may have difficulty with your nervous systems. When frequency changes and more light comes into the body, the typical vehicle begins to receive much more data. Sometimes you get very bored living in your world and you just want to come into data receptivity and forget about what you consider the mundane world. If you are not grounded, you will not have a way of allowing that information to enter your reality and be put to use. It could simply overload your system, or you could not be able to translate what you are getting and stay calm. You need to balance many worlds at once. How do you do this? By intention, by practice, and by decree. Grounding allows worlds to merge and allows you to access many worlds. It allows you to feel surges of energy and then to direct these surges of energy where and when you need them.
to become superhuman. A good way to ground yourself is to go outside and sit on the ground. So go outside and be in nature. Stand or sit next to a tree for a while. Put your chair in the sun and read a book with the sun shining on you. Or go swimming or put your feet in water. These are the elements. They make up earth so you can feel them. You must learn to handle many realities at once, to realize that you are doing this and to have a place, earth, to translate information into. You would not be here if it wasn't important for you to ground information and energy into earth. So, whenever you find yourself electrified or energized, realize you are in an altered state. Realize also how many versions of altered states there are and that you must instruct yourself to become a conduit like a big pipeline. When you know you are in an altered state and are being given information, healing energy, exaltation or upliftment, act as a pipeline. Funnel the energy through yourself and acknowledge and recognize that you are in a multi-dimensional expression. Register this, but do not analyze it. Just let the energy filter through you into Earth, and it will make more sense later on. You can discover your emotional body by making a decree that you believe emotions can be trusted. Decree that you believe emotions are good that they are safe, that they can take you somewhere, that they are beneficial, and that they are not just in the way or misunderstood. Anytime emotions are released in you, look to see what they do for you. When you have a fight with your child, or your child screams at you, and then afterwards you feel bad and cry, look at your emotion. What is the emotion doing for you? Whenever you are in emotion, you are accessing information from many realities. Find that frequency and hold it. It is somewhat of a universal belief that emotions are uncontrollable. They are not. You can control emotion, and you do not have to go out of control. Emotion can become a frequency inside of you through which you feel to the depth and core of your being. Yet someone may look at you and not have any idea that anything is going on with you. This does not mean you are blocking. It simply means you have set up a way to feel an emotion and not feel bad about it or good about it, but just recognize you are feeling it. See what else you can do with an emotion. Where does it take you? What is the next step? Disengage from the event that brought about the emotion. That will help some of you. Body work serves to bring about a release. You have used the tissue and muscle of your body as armor to cover up your skeleton. This tissue has compacted and buried itself and kept what is in the skeletal form from rising to the surface. You want to access information that is within bone, for bone is where the story is held, while the blocks are held in tissue. You must go through all these layers to get to the truth inside your body. Remember that all things exist as a vibration. Animals were put upon the planet to be companions for you, to live on the land and to feed you and shelter you if necessary. This was to be done with love. If you live on a farm and raise your own chickens and pigs, and if you feed them food, and if, when it comes time to bring them to slaughter, you do it with compassion and love, then it is fine. You give quality of life to the animals, and then the animals in turn recycle themselves to give you love and quality of life. That is the ideal. 
that was the reality for a long time upon this planet. It is not the reality any longer. Be aware of the vibration within things. Let your body speak what it wants. Let yourself be willing to change because your body, as it attempts to raise its vibration and build a light body, will move away from certain foods. Intend that you wish to change your diet and then intend that things come to you. We emphasize over and over again that you are much more than physical beings. You exist in many realities and you have a multitude of guides. So each of you needs to become more clear in your intentions. What do you want? State, I want to evolve. I want to change my diet. I wish to have a greater sense of intuition. Be clear about what you intend. The words, I intend, have tremendous power. True health would consist of 12 completely mutated and evolved helixes inside the body, which would activate full brain capacity. It will take a while for the 12 helixes to be completely activated, though they can begin to be plugged in. Some of you have experienced them as plugged in, yet not activated. When they are in activation, the full brain is in operation and you are geniuses. You know everything. You are telepathic and you are able to do anything because you are the host of the living library. You have the card that allows you to access any kind of information stored all over this planet.